Hi there, everybody. Um, I've got two cameras up here. I don't know which one I'm looking at. Oh, there we go. That's the one. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, well, we've got a few things going on here. And this is just kind of a good news little update for you. I've got some notation. And I, I'm going to be reading from my notes, kind of, so bear with me here. This is um, I'm kind of presenting the, doing this video in a little different way <laughs> because I want to be able to draw in some stuff for you um, that will be important later on or in a few minutes. So anyway, it's kind of odd how I'm doing this, but whatever. You guys are probably going, dude, this dude just, just talks too much. <sighs> All right, so here's what we're talking about. Notation, right? All this fun stuff, the SD, the SRs, the S deltas and all that joyous, lovely stuff that tends to kind of throw people for a loop once in a while. And your book covers it in various places. I cover it in various places, but I don't have a really good single lecture on notation and behavior analysis. So here it is. All right. So the first things first, we have uh, the three term contingency. That's the basic pieces, right? So the notation we use for that is simple. An SD is the first term. That stands for a discriminative stimulus or stimulus that discriminates, however you want to look at it. So it's written with a superscript, right? So S with a D up in the superscript, right? Then the second term in the three term contingency is an R or a response. The third term is the S and it's something else. Right? There's a lot of those something else's, so we'll start with the first one, the easiest one, which is SR. Right? SR means a stimulus that reinforces. Um, we can talk about the issues with that later on, if you guys want to talk about pre principle and stimuli and more actions and all that stuff, but that's a different topic. Okay? So an SR is a stimulus that reinforces. Now, as you know, we have two types of reinforcement, so there are two different notations for that. There's SR plus and there's SR minus. The first one, SR plus, is obviously uh, positive reinforcement and the second one is negative reinforcement which leads us to another consequence notation that exists which is SP or a stimulus that punishes so then you would have an SP plus and an SP minus positive punishment negative punishment there's also this other thing called or no, sorry so that, that's the notation for that third that, that consequence piece right um, so the third um, what do you call it um, the third term and the three term contingency um, but let's move back to the first term because there's some variations on the SD that we want to talk about. Um, an SD signals to the organism that a reinforcer is available in that context at that time for a particular response. That's what the SD signals. So the SD is about signaling a reinforcer. You could also have an SP, or sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> you have an SDP, right? A, st a discriminative stimulus that signals that punishment is coming. You could have that. Um, you could also have this cool thing called an S delta, which basically signals that extinction is going to happen. In other words, there are no reinforcers available. That's what an S delta signals. An S delta signals no reinforcer. SDP signals that there's a punisher coming. SD signals that there's reinforcement available. Okay, uh, so those are your your core pieces. Now let's add in another one: motivating operations. MOs, there's two types, right? An EO and an AO, and then there's more breakdowns than that, right? You get the the CMEOs and stuff. So you get all those other ones, right? So we're just going to call it an MO to make it easy, right? MOs typically come in the three-term contingency. They're placed before the SD. So it, goes, it typically reads MO, SD, R, SR. But in reality, a motivating operation affects the value of a reinforcer. It doesn't affect the value of the discriminative stimulus. So in reality, it's like it kind of sits below it, but concurrent, it's weird. It's hard to talk about this stuff because it makes us think that it's this weird chain and it always happens in that order. Sometimes things kind of happen concurrently. Um, and that's kind of what the issue is with the motivating operation. It is something that has happened before the reinforcer is delivered, so we have to put it somewhere in there. So we put it in front of everything. Um, but it's not like you go MO happens and then an SD, then an R and an SR. The MO could have happened months ago, could be happening concurrently but in it, it doesn't affect the SD, it affects the reinforcer, right? So it is what, what drives the, it, it changes the value of that reinforcer. So hopefully that clarifies a couple of issues and I hope that my drawing here makes some sense and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.